are we going, folks? Back in the veggie garden here in Lethbridge. And this is uh, the area that I planted out with some more greens before we get into our spring range. You saw the tomato yesterday and all the fertilising down in Coburg. Microclimate's a lot warmer there, so I'm taking a chance of planting early. Here, with the greens that I've got in here, the only problem I've got at the moment, apart from cold weather, are rodents. Now, we don't have possums, we have rabbits, and I've had rabbits in the past, but since I put the, uh, the superfood down, they haven't come back in here, but the bloody rodents have attacked. I had kale, don't mind, these, these are my plugs, I just brought some to replace. I had kale, 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 kale here, and if you look carefully, you can actually see, now look, I did water here earlier on, but you can see little footprints running up and down here. In, in actual fact, over there, I'm gonna have a look, they're footprints. They've gotta be footprints from a rodent here. There, 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 all the way through. I don't know if you can tell, because we just watered it, or could it be a cat? Adrian? Or Alice? Nah, that don't eat grass, that don't eat. Then again, <laughs> they do come out at night, folks. They're probably chasing the, hey! What are you two doing? Get a room. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna replace these folks. Oh, is that there still? Look at that. Ah, pull it out. Look, it's already growing its roots. It's only been three, four days. So we're gonna put new kale, that's what I had here, kale. So I'm just gonna keep feeding the rodents, making sure they're <laughs> nice and healthy when I catch them. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna, if I catch them, I'll tell you something. Look at that, there it is there. I'm gonna plant next to it. Just gonna leave one there, because I reckon it'll take off. But <laughs> just an attractant. Bring another one in. That one's been pulled out already. So, but we, we've got to protect them. Now, you've got different ways you can do that. You can get bottle tops, like milk bottles, cut the tops off, or sorry, the bottoms off them, and sit them over the top like a cloche, which is like a little mini hothouse. And that's great for very susceptible, um, seedlings, I can't even say it's susceptible to the cold weather. Kale isn't, but it's actually very uh, uh, susceptible to rodents and other little critters in the garden that love to eat it caterpillars especially, and snails. So we've got three there, four there, but what I'm gonna use here, I've got some tree guards or plant guards, and they're basically a wax paper. You can use bottles, and if you've got excess drink bottles, you can cut up and do that, folks. That's all you can use, or you can do this, what I'm doing here, with these little guards that we have online. They're available. Where is it? There it is. So, well, you can feed it inside, outside, whichever way you like. So you can start with the outside of the bamboo, then put it on the inside. Like, let me do it the other way just to show you. So it can be fed both ways. Like that. And back in on that side again. The spikes are both, both on the same side. Now there's a circle there, you push it in, and the stake will hold it into the shape that you want it to be. Now folks, I'd use bottles if I had some, but unfortunately nobody in the family actually drinks milk. Um, and nobody drinks soft drinks, that's for sure, or even those juices, so those plastic bottles, we haven't got any around here. Um, and as far as water bottles, well, we just drink from the dam. <sighs> Tastes good, <laughs> plenty of minerals. So that's the sleeve. If you don't want it to collapse on you, just squeeze it up, and you can actually fold it as a square if you like, right? So it does have a fold. It can be done like that, like a, like a old pure milk bottle. Now, when you do push it into the ground, folks, you can push the cardboard down. It's a wax cardboard, so it's going to last you the season at least. Well, I reckon just the season. If we get some really harsh weather, it'll start to decay over time. But yeah, that's biodegradable. And push it into the soil a little bit so that you bury it just a bit, because, well, you know the rodents? All right, I know they've got sharp teeth and they're constantly growing and they need to grind them on something and they'll eat through timber and metal and this ain't gonna do anything. It's just a deterrent, that's all it is. Hopefully it works. Hopefully they don't pick up on the scent, they pick up on the other manures, they can't see it, they sniff around, they don't bother digging around it and they move on to something else in the garden. Hopefully it's Kara, so they come across that beast there. Kara, Kara, come here. Good girl, Hey, Sit, sit. Good girl, sit. This is the dominating, dominating effect problem we have. Good girl. Now see that, folks? She is the alpha. And she will test me to see if I'm serious about her sitting or just playing games with her. So she'll stand and just suss me out for a second, only if I really change the tone of my voice. Whereas Vader, 
<laughs> he's the gentle giant. He is, he is a beast. No, no jokes about it. He's as playful as ever, but I, he's got the grunt in him to switch it on if he needs to. So, but Cane Corsos by nature are a beautiful, lovable dog. So if you've never had one, folks, they were the most affectionate dog you could possibly have. I've, we've had Kelpies, we've had German Shepherds, we've had Corgis, we've had Fox Terriers. And I, I'm totally in love with these dogs because they do nothing but protect the family and show nothing but love and affection for the rest of the family. And when they play, as playful as they are, they are. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. There's, there's, she's about 57, 50, maybe 60 kilos now. He's getting onto 70. Between the two of them, there's over about 130, 140 kilos. <laughs> and they can, they, when they run, they're like, like horses, like Trojan horses. They go hard. So, yeah, we'll just sit there and watch them for a while. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to the topic. So this is the last one I'm installing here. Which way am I doing it? That way. Now this one I'm using the cardboard. Like I said, you can use the milk bottles or drink bottles, cut the bottoms off, leave the cap off on top so it can breathe. You can use, if it's a large bottle, you can cut it in half and punch holes on the bottom end so it has air vents on it so it can breathe as well. And then, if you haven't got those, well you can get these on our website, facilitiesgarden.com. Now that's not the only thing I was going to do today, but we'll, we'll save it for tomorrow, because they've already knocked it over. These are the six-way cane connectors, I'll quickly show you them. Dogs which just ran into this here, folks. Now, I haven't finished installing this. It's a six-way cane connector, and I'm talking about the balls here. The little balls, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes on them. <laughs> Idiot, Vasily, six ways. <laughs> so six ways you can connect them canes. So you can create this little structure, cube if you like, where you can throw your wildlife friendly bird netting over the top, insect netting, and that's what I'm going to do with this one tomorrow. I'm not going to replant it where they've, oh my God, they've, they've actually run in here. Look at this. They had a wrestle and they've already attacked the garden bed. Uh, lucky they didn't destroy their plant. So I'm going to cover this one over with the bird netting tomorrow, and we'll say, show you all. Shall we show you tomorrow? Yeah, we'll show you tomorrow, the finished result. So this has been done now with the cane connectors. You can get them on our website as well. So if you've got a garden bed that gets attacked by birds, if you've got, you know, rabbits or things like that, and in my case, rodents, and look, the netting, they'll, they'll eat through the netting. It's, it's, it's not gonna do anything really, but maybe just as a deterrent, you know, it's not gonna stop them. If they're adamant about getting in there, most animals will get their way through it, but it's just, you know, slowing them down and getting them to change the direction where they're going to feed from and uh, look for other places or other feed sources. So the six-way cane connectors are available. Use them in your garden if you need to, and you can get bamboos as well. Um, I'm not sure if we've got these online, but you can check it out. And the wildlife bird leading is all available. So gear yourself up for the wildlife in the garden. We want to protect them while we protect our garden at the same time. It's all available at VasiliesGarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi.